Good evening, cricket fans, this is Biff Cricket Network, where we critically analyze the unfolding narratives of cricket today. We're examining the closure of Church Street Park for the upcoming cognizant Major League Cricket event as Morrisville prepares to host a significant portion of the fixtures. Questions are being asked as to what does the event mean for the city, town, the fans, and the sport itself. The second season will see North Carolina host close to half of the fixtures as the spotlight shines on Church Street Park, but as the park closes its doors to regular activities, one wonders, how will the community adapt to this month-long transformation? What arrangements are in place? For those who frequent the park for their daily routines, how will the Shiloh Greenway accommodate? The expected increase in foot traffic and importantly, how will the town ensure that the spirit of community remains intact amidst the cricket frenzy, turning to the cricket itself? The MLC has become a beacon for the sport in the United States, attracting stars from around the globe, with players like Sunil Narhine, Travis Head, Pat Cummins, and Faf Duplessis leading their respective teams, and coaches like Ricky Ponting and Stephen Fleming at the helm. The league promises to be a spectacle of high-quality cricket, but let's probe further, how will the presence of these international stars impact the local and emerging talent? Will the MLC provide a platform for American cricketers, many of whom were standouts during the ICC T20 World Cup, and how will the league navigate the balance between showcasing global stars and nurturing homegrown players? As we look forward to the MLC 2024, these questions linger, inviting North Carolinians to reflect on the broader implications of hosting such a prestigious event. Stay with us on Biff Cricket Network as we continue to bring you thoughtful insights and the latest developments in USA cricket.